Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So someone has been asking me for quite a while to do an acrylic pour on a pine cone. So I was walking down the street today and I kicked this pine cone. Therefore, today is the day. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do one of my favorite Christmassy color combinations, which is silver, blue, and white. I don't have a lot of silver left, and I am going to put it in the bottom of my bowl here. Um, so it can be the last to come out. So I'll kind of guarantee that it ends up on there. I do have, I'm just going to set that down. I do have this really pretty, um, light metallic blue as well that I will be using that I think will look great with this color combination. All right. Time to buy some more silver paint. So we got a little silver there. There's a little bit of white. And then let's do that metallic blue. I think those will look beautiful. And then we're going to do some of this regular blue. And I'll cycle back through those guys. Actually, I think I'll add a little bit of black. So while I don't have silver, I can at least get that gray in there. Just a little bit. Okay. This is a 9 by 12 canvas, just for reference on how much paint I need. So probably about, I didn't do the math, but it's probably about 6 ounces that I need. Alright, and I'm going to put in white last. Okay, here we go. Should be plenty. Let's go ahead and set our pine cone here. And this one seems a little wobbly, but I think it'll work. And here we go. And I do plan on making this into some sort of a holiday decoration. I think it's a little too big to be an ornament, but maybe. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> so it's a little more wobbly than I thought. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it as I pour. And other than the silver, which I'm actually not sure what brand that is. The rest of these paints are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. Even that light metallic blue. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna bring you guys down for a quick side view so you can see the canvas here. All right, check that out down there, that's pretty cool. So I'm sure that the patterns you get will be dependent upon the shape and size of your pine cone. I think this is pretty darn awesome. All right, so I actually don't think I have quite enough paint on my canvas here. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little more white around the base. I'm just leaving that pine cone there as long as possible so it can just continue to drain and this white will just help that paint move around. There is one other thing that I want to do on this pine cone and I'm okay if that gets on the paint as well and that is I'm gonna add a little glitter. This is some fairy glitter I have going to put a little bit of that on top here and it should stick right to the paint making this a beautiful decoration awesome all right let's carefully move this to the side that is fun and here we go so we do have some quite a bit of blending in the middle there but that's okay The other patterns are super cool. I love this big pattern right here. It's almost like a water drop. Okay, that is pretty darn awesome. Let's go ahead, we'll let this sit here for a little while and then I'll bring you in for a close up on both pieces. All right, let's go ahead and start with the canvas. This came out way better than I thought it was going to. 
Um, I do wish I had a little more contrasting colors, a little more silver maybe, and some maybe a darker blue, but I think this is actually really cool. Super pretty. You can, I don't know if I can see on the camera here, but you can see a little bit of the glitter in there, just a tiny bit on the painting. Doesn't seem like it's coming through the camera though. And then here is the pine cone. I added a little more glitter to the sides here. So I think that's super cute. I didn't quite get the whole thing. So I might need to pour it a little bit differently if I do this again. But overall, great idea and a great way to make some really simple holiday decorations. You do different colors. There you have it. An acrylic pour over a pine cone. Thank you for the suggestion. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next time.